Pi is just 3.14, and I always think it's amazing that pi seems to pop up in just about every different branch of physics and math. I mean, it's a small little number, 3.14, it relates the radius of a circle to the circumference of a circle. You think that's all it is, big deal. And yet it pops up over and over and over again in all different branches of science. It's, 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 it's a bit eerie, for want of a better phrase, it's a little bit eerie. Epsilon, however, is a little bit more straightforward. I mean, it really is. In fact, here's a nice one. The symbol E, do you know what that represents? That crazy logarithm number. Something to do with logarithm. What does I represent? Uh, pi. Plus pi. Square root of minus 1. E is a just, it's just a number that you raise it to the square root of minus 1. E to the I pi. Yeah, I is just square root of minus 1. E to the I pi equals minus 1. That's one of the freakiest equations in the universe. Not just the planet, because it's the same formula. It's the same math that exists on this planet that exists on any planet anywhere else in the universe. It turns out that the square root of minus 1 by pi all raised to the power of e, and e is just a number, equals minus 1. So some of, remember I said pi turns up everywhere. Well, e also turns up everywhere. So minus 1 obviously turns up everywhere. And those three can be related to the we don't want to put the square root of minus one. Jack out of my pocket. No, the square root of minus one. No, no, he's not. He's a copy. Back we go.